In this video, we're going to look at another way to multiply binomials together in what I like to call the stacking method. The stacking method comes from the idea as if we were trying to multiply something like 251 times 43, what we typically do is we stack them on top of each other. We go like this and we multiply these together. So we go three times one, three times five, uh, three times two plus one is seven, drop a zero, four, 20, and eight, nine, 10. So we have 10,793. So that's typically how we would do that. Now this of course works even if I broke it into the, uh, the place values of each one of these things. So here I'm gonna have 40 plus, uh, what am I gonna have, uh, three. And then I'm gonna multiply each of these things together. So if I take three times one, plus three times 50 is 150. So I'm gonna take my 50 and then I'm gonna put my 100 over here. Three times 200 is 600 plus, three times two is 600, three times 200 is 600 plus this 100 is gonna give me 700. And then I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna multiply 40 times one. So that's gonna be plus, or that's gonna be 40. And then I'm gonna take 40 times 50, and that's going to be two, let's see, 200, 2000, right? 2000. So I don't have anything here, but I have 2000 here. Let's make a little bit of space for this. There we go. We'll take a little bit of space, move that over a little bit. So 2000, and notice I don't actually have anything here. So I don't even have to put the zeros there if I don't want to. I can just leave it at 2000 plus, uh, plus 40. And let's see, where was I? So then I've got 40 times here. So that's gonna be 8,000. Did I do that right? I did that right. 8,000. So another 8,000 plus this 2,000 is 10,000, 10,000. And actually, I, you know, if I, were, if I were being real careful with this, well, yeah, that's, that's about right. That's, that's exactly what we did before. Sorry about that. So then if I add these things together, notice here I've got three plus nothing, three plus nothing. So here's my three plus, here's my 50 and my 40. 50 and 40, there's my 90. Here is my 700, 700. I don't have anything in the thousands column, so I could have actually had a space here for the thousands column, but then I converted that over to 10,000, and there we go. So then we've got 10,000 as well. We add those together. Oh, forgot the plus sign there. So we've got 10,793. Right, same exact thing that I have there. Okay, yeah, so we know how to do that. So what does that mean in terms of binomials? So if we wanted to stack two binomials, let's say we were going to multiply together uh, x plus two and x plus one. So if I wanted to stack these things, I am going to do the same exact thing, but instead of place values, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stack the, the terms without x's, the terms with x's, and so on. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna follow the same exact process. I'm gonna do one times two. Here's two. One times x. That was a positive two, so that's one x. Then I'm gonna take x times two. Well, that doesn't go in the the, the whole number column. That's gonna go here. So I've got x times two, that's a positive two x and then I've got x times x, and that's gonna create a new column, x squared. And I multiply these things together, when I, or sorry, when I add these things together, I get the product of these two, this binomial, x squared plus three x plus two. You can check this using one of the other methods that we've done, the distributive property or the area model, and you can see that works. 
Again, uh, it doesn't have to be just positive values. It doesn't have to be positive values. We could come up with something with negative values as well. We could use something like, um, let's say 5x minus 2 and x plus 3. Still going to stack them up the same way. Let's do 5x minus 2 on the top, x plus 3 on the bottom, and I'm going to multiply these two things together. So 3, positive 3 times negative 2 is a negative 6. Positive 3 times 5x is a positive 15x. x times negative 2, again, not going in this column, x times negative 2 is going to be minus 2x. And then lastly, x times 5x, that's going to give me 5x squared. So now when I add these things together, I'm going to add again all of the like terms. There's nothing else in this units column or the whole number column or the column without any variables. So I just have negative 6. Here I've got 15x minus 2x. So there's 13x, and that was a positive 13x. And then I've got 5x squared. So I've got 5x squared, and there is my multiplied binomial. So just another method that you can use along with the area model or the distributive property.